No way. What'd you get? So guys, you could probably imagine where I'm at. I parked right over here. And I'm going to meet Irene and Andrew this morning at the trestles. Not sure if you guys can see that, but as Christianitas and El Camino Real corner, that's the entrance to the uh, the trestles. I have so many people who, over the years, surfers from all over the world and and uh, friends that just wanted to come down to this beach for you know all the different reasons to come to the trestles because it's great fishing. It's I like the metal detect. They also, it's one of the world's best surf spots. And I don't know if you can see the ocean out in front of me. It is early in the morning. The sun hasn't climbed up over the mountain yet. And if you look up, we got a little overcast. So it should be a beautiful day. We might have a little bit of gloomy overcast, but Man, I see it right now. I can see the swells developed out there. Uh, we have some pretty large surf. Can't tell you how much I love this walk in. You know, for the mile or whatever it is, I'm not sure, mile, mile and a half, two miles, whatever it is, it is a nice, peaceful walk. I love it. And I'm walking underneath the 5 freeway. This is San Mateo River right here, guys. And there's a lot of history. So I do believe that at the base of this river, um, in 1776, the very first baptism took place in California. So... There's a lot of history in this area that had pretty much been swallowed up by Camp Pendleton. Well guys, we made it to the trestles. Oh yeah. For whatever reason, they blocked it, these sections off with the rocks thinking people aren't going to walk around it or step over this. I'm not sure why they did that. They don't like people walking across the railroad tracks. We can walk under it, but I always try to walk over it so I get a higher elevation angle to look down on the beach from over here. These rocks are sharp. <laughs> yes a lot of times i wear regular tennis shoes when i come here most of the time i do i have no idea what i was thinking today but it's you know jim tends to just want to get out and detect and probably not put a whole lot of thought in the small waves it's high tide right now But there's not a lot of people here in the cottons, which most of their stuff is stored like right in front of me where I'm at here. You see the little shacks are all down there. This is the cottons. And the uppers are right over here. This point is the uppers. Lowers and middles are down there, which we'll be going to as well. So You notice that a couple people in the comments said I'm a little slow on my intros, but guys, here's the truth. I love my walk-ins. I really do. Just coming to the beach is what I love. You know, a lot of people only care about looking at uh, what I'm finding. If you're not appreciating what you're seeing out here right now, this is the real gold. It really is. So what I notice. A group of guys down in the lowers point. There's a bunch of surfers there. There's a bunch of surfers at the uppers point. 
and there's a group of surfers right here in the cottons and this group right here has got some good left breakers so I can see everything is coming in here so we're gonna detect over here a little bit until I see Irene and Andrew beautiful I just turned on the machine I'm in beach one and literally just turned it on didn't even do anything yet huh. I wonder if that's gonna be part of this hard pack doesn't sound like a dime still ringing up a dime I didn't get it okay Set it right there. I think I see a dime. And it is a dime. All right, first target in is a dime. Looks like blister clad dime. Okay. On to the next. Here's a 13 right here, so it's going to be one of those days. A lot of targets here at the beach. I must be pushing it. Or it's in the hard pack. Staying solid, 13, so I'm going to dig it out. There's a nickel. And then I got an 18 right here. Okay, so. Is it this thing? Yeah, that thing's. Oh, yeah, that's why. It is a metal cap of some sort. Okay. Maybe a quarter right here. Oh, I love the fact that it says it's deep. Still ringing up 29.30. Man, it still says it's really deep. Man, it's loud down 32. I pulled silver out of here a lot over the years for targets just like this on the slope. Out. It's a belt buckle. Okay. Yep. That's a solid 13 right here, out of the hole. Staying solid 13. I see a nickel right there. Two nickels in, look at that. I love it. You know what I love is cleaning up these, these nickels. All right, let's get this hole filled back in. I got a target right here. That thing was screaming at me. 
out already. Nice. Ah, are you kidding me? Oh! It's a dime that's chewed up. Tell that's been in the ocean for a while. Hitting with the rocks, so this is a push in and the bottle cap. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I love the little shacks that these guys build. Right here. Out already. It looks like maybe another dime. Look at that rock, it's pretty cool. So when you see the big rocks like that, along with this really loose sand stuff, this is all brand new sand. So you look in front of me right where this guy is, pretty much from here, this cliff edge, all the way out is new sand. So what I'm doing is I'm just hovering around the edge right here uh, where people store their stuff. Like you can see they have their flip-flops here. Somebody has an old wetsuit over there. Remember, because the surfers have got to store their stuff somewhere, right? That's what these shacks are for, you know? And they're real sensitive. So if you're not a local, and you don't know these guys, don't be climbing around in their shacks. All right, warning, don't do it. <laughs> hey, here. Uh, surfers are friendly enough, but you've heard the rumors. Are you right here? I think it's right here. Got it. Ah, sweet. Got a quarter. But hey, I've got a couple of nickels, a couple of dimes, a quarter. I am a penny shy of the cycle. How about that? A penny shy of the cycle. Hi, how are you? Nope. This is loud. Here's another quarter. And I think we just hit the cycle with this penny. Oh, that's a crusty one. Target right here. And another quarter. I'm on a severe slope right now, guys, so I might turn around and face the other way. Give me some grunts with it. See if I moved it. There it is. I actually see it. Looks like another dime. Okay. These waves are all gorgeous out here today. Looks 
like maybe another nickel down here or a piece of aluminum slaw. I get it. It's another nickel. All right. Ah, oh, there's Irene and Andrew. Okay. Hey, how are you? Good. We're doing well, doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. All right. Hey. I've hit the cycle already. What? And all I've done is the top? walk down this slope and oh, yeah. just a little bit of this area. Yeah. So. The gentleman right here was just saying, I never see any metal detectors down here. And he's like, man, I think I'm, I'm think this is the spot. So you're right, Jim. Oh, all right. One of the locals. I, I know that the... Uh, locals will tell me when they see another detector so yeah. oh, really? when i when i first was coming out you know here uh well in november when i came out did like every weekend cleaning it up before the winter yeah um then i got the after the videos were released you know the phone calls hey dude you should see how many guys i never <laughs> seen so many and then For you sure. know that then it disappears because what really happens is this was this was all rock if you remember oh, wow. uh, no, so I don't, remember I don't know if you see the videos you'll see this was all rock all right and then so this is all new sand we were talking about i'm like what do we call jim our sensei yeah our like, master uh, <laughs> master, master. Yeah. Uh, Show us the way. you call him jim yeah, <laughs> Fun with jim. Don't go. yeah. jim's jim right jim's, jim. jim's jim's at the beach <laughs> you know I have to tell you though, What's up? this slope all the way down to the rock piles yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. has produced more silver for me than any other beach, a spot on any beach anywhere ever. So I found, I don't find a lot of mercs. I find more like quarters and half dollars and uh, who was walking around with that down here? Okay. So where that flag was right all right secret service used to have to stand down here okay all right because that was um nixon's house right oh, white okay. house on the west coast okay right? and then um this was a military base so the surfers used to run across right that's what you were saying right like before they got caught and hide their cars and stuff right so okay. that that was kind of the history of it so most of everything i found was like 40s to okay. you know 50s i was wondering who was stationed here because you don't put a nav marker up for boats target right here sounded good before i turned the camera on and i see garbage okay Uh, loud screamer right here. 22. Out. Oh my gosh, it's a ring. It's a ring. And a piece of plastic. Alright. I think it's going to be silver. Huh. It's heavy. Let's see. Yeah, solid 22. Okay. Well. We got a ring. I'm hoping uh, Irene and uh, Andrew are over there. Well, I know. I'm, I'm hoping they're finding good stuff. Because I see them digging. All right, but I saw something really strange all the way down at the end over here. And I really want to investigate, but I really want to hit this area really hard. So I think I'll just walk over there and then hit this area hard on my way back. I got a loud 21 right here. A few big rocks near it. Now, 
Ah, there's a penny. Okay. Working my way down to see this uh, ocean line here where it meets up with the rocks. Got a target right here. 13 sand strong. Let's see if I got it. Ah, oh, it is a nickel. Nice and green. Okay. Still finding target. I think that's garbage. Yeah, that's going to be iron garbage. And this sounds like a pool tab. That's exactly what it is. All right. Okay, I got a deep target right here. Might be a little iron with that because it's getting some grunts, but sounds better now that it's deep or out. Now it's a 19. Oh, multiple targets in the hole. All right, so what is this? So, it's a dime that will take all the time. And then I think I got a penny right here, right? 18, 19, maybe a zinc. What is that? It is a zinc penny. It's just, it looks massive because it's got a nice layer of sand corrosion on it. Okay, so that is a zinc penny, I think. So I have found uh, odd uh, coins here that uh, are corroded and I can't tell unless I clean them up, so. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a lobster trap right there. I don't know if it got washed up or if it was thrown up there by somebody, but that's usually what they do when they find them. The surfers just drag them up and throw them up here. All right, guys, thought I'd share that with you. Their dime right here, maybe. Just as soon as they shut it off. And yep, it's another dime. And we will take them all the time. I like their little golf thing over here. Multiple targets there. Oh, I could see the coin there. It's a quarter. Okay. Well, we know a 22 was a silver ring. Well, I'm going to use that penny. Okay. Maybe another quarter hidden underneath here. There we go. Nice and dark and red. Okay, what else we got in here? 
26 in here. I think I got it out. And whatever it is, nice and green. I think it was a dime. Man, the surf is perfect right now. Dude just got the perfect wave just a second ago. Wish I had the camera on. You got to ride it a long way, guys. That's him right here in front. Just swimming back out. All right. I should be paying attention to metal detecting and surfing, but I need to get back over to where there's more targets in the different sand. I have to take a look at this, it's beautiful. See, they're point breaks. So this is a point break here, the cottons. So sometimes it's a left breaking, sometimes it's right breaking. So you like uh, surfing both directions, you're good. And this one's usually a good lefter. Whew, you munched. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, you'll never believe it. You'll never believe it. Here at the trestles of all places, I found another ring. Pop ring. <laughs> You guys, seriously, I'm not planting them there. Seriously, for whatever reason, I'm finding them. I have every detector in 2021B. I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, guys. I thought I'd share that. I don't know why I get a kick out of it. Hey, guys, here's Andrew working. But Jim is coming over here because his finds bag is already getting full of garbage. Yeah, I know some of it's recyclable, but I'm not carrying this stuff all day, guys. All right. Not lighting the load. I think it was that one can full of uh, sand. Okay. I think the rest is pretty good. You can see my ring pot freeing. <laughs> and I think I got a silver ring, too, so far, guys. So, you know. Okay, on to the next. Okay, Andrew. He's, he's, there's so many targets around here, guys. You have no idea. I'm hoping they're doing as well as I am. You do stuff like that. So that sounded glorious. Oh, I bet it did. Oh yeah. So. Oh, you got a guitar stuff? pick. Yeah. Seriously, a Vans guitar pick. I'm telling you. Well, I've I've killed it and clad myself. Nice. Uh, and I got a silver ring, I think, right over here. Hey, this is where people are loading up. Yeah, uh, I was right in front of the uh, second shack all the way down there in the loose sand. Gotta love it. It was like sitting right on top. Oh, but dude, gotta I've love it. I've dug so much garbage Yeah. that uh, I had to unload. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna unload right now, too. I'm just, man. I'm gonna start working my way down Let's to that do guy. What an exciting day, Jim. Oh yeah. Dude, all the surfers are like <laughs> Oh my god, you see how good the surf is right oh, yeah. here right now? Oh yeah. It's beautiful. The one guy was playing it off. He goes, Yeah, it's about a six. I'm... <laughs> yeah, this isn't this isn't six amount of crowd, I'll tell you that. Nah, it's it's uh That's anything yeah. That's this funny. is this is nothing. This is nothing. You should see how crazy busy you can get here. Yeah. Well, now with the e-bikes, I bet you it's accessible for everybody. Yeah. Well, you, can you ma imagine back in the day when they had long boards, heavy, and, yeah. and yeah. had a run for it? No. No way. <laughs> okay, I dug this big hole, thinking, uh, you know, it sounded okay, and it got better and better and better, and now it's out of the hole. Oh, look, it's got the Angels Express. You know, it'll take you right to the ball game, guys, right to Angel Stadium. Come to the trestles, metal detect, and go hit the ball game via train. He got it. And there is a quarter. Nice and crusty. 
Okay guys, I got a target right here. Twenty six it's ringing up. Oh, I got a target right here, like a quarter. Stay focused on the first target. <laughs> Out. Let's see, I think I got it. And there's that dime. Sounds like there's a mid-tone right in front of my coil. Maybe a pool tab. Alright, that's oh, a rusty bottle cap. But I think I got a quarter right over here. Shallow quarter. Now, it's a ring. Is it a ring? Yeah, it's a ring. It's another ring. Huh. Little uh, weathered. Oh, this can be silver. Look how clean that came. Huh. Oh, I see a 925 right there. Okay. Andrew's looking at something awfully close over there, too. All right. Maybe we all got rings. A real deep, uh, deep signal. I took a scoop out. Sounded much better. Holy crap, look at the size of that wave. Oh my god, great set coming in. I'm sorry guys. These are some of the things I love. Alright, so deep target right here. Out. There we go. Maybe a dime. Take them all the time. All right, I'm gonna go over and join uh, Andrew and Irene. I got a target right here. I think it's out, and it's on the road, literally. And there we go. That's uh, I find all kinds of targets on this road. Oh. Okay, we are going to go to the trash can, and I am going to unload some stuff. Cups, some fruit, another cup, piece of aluminum, this is the one I wanted out of there, no coins, out, and Get this glass out. And this other piece of fruit out. And I don't want to. It's getting heavy, but I'll leave it like that. Okay. The target right here. I think it's going to be good. Oh, wow. That was. Get it? I think it's gonna be all iron actually. It says thirteen now. There's another nickel. I got a lot of nickels today. A lot of nickels. Okay, out of that hole is a an old bullet casing. Okay. 
This is the back side of uh, Dude, I need a six inch coil for this. I know, this is crazy how many little targets are in here. They, they probably had fires here at one time. Yeah, so this area right here is uh, the lowers. And the middles is right over here. I'm thinking I got another nickel. Ah, you see what it is? It says it's shallow. Let's take a look. I think it's going to be a penny in this one. And that's what it is, a penny. No way. Where'd you get? Oh wow, look at that. My ring just hit a big old gold ring. Wow, let's see what it is, I read. Oh yeah. Oh right. I told you I found gold rings on 15. the road. That's a gold ring, that's 14k. I can tell right, from here. 14? I can tell from here. Fuck yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, that is heavy. Yes! Dude, that's such a... I can see something in there. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That thing was junk in there. Sorry, Irene. Oh, no, I'm fine. 14K. My eyes saw that. <laughs> my eyes saw that. Oh, man, I... Ooh, ooh. Where's Andrew? Team meeting? Huh? He's uh That is awesome. I um I turned off um I yeah iron on it. It was just too crazy. Oh and here I is kept, too yeah, crazy. Yeah, so I turned off the iron. I do, I toggle back and forth all the time. I was in a fifteen and I was like, it was repeating and I'm like oh. I walk I actually walked away from it. No you didn't, I, you went back to it. I walked away and I was like I can't leave it. I was like it was repeating. Yeah. Like, I have don't. To dig it. Yeah. Don't walk away from them. Dig them. All right. Oh. Now, nah. hey. If there's one, there's more. Right. Oh, it's painful in here though, but oh, it paid out. All right, my turn for the gold. Is that your first ring of the day? Yes. All right. That's what I was saying, you know, I find, I've even found gold rings embedded in that hard stuff. Oh, no, I had a scrape for that guy. Yeah, you did. I thought it was going to be like a bottle cap. Now I'm digging everything. <laughs> Your goldar was on it today. I told you I'd activate the goldar. <laughs> uh... Now, hopefully, uh, Andrew gets some gold. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. You need a quarter to complete the cycle just in here. I am killing it in quarters and nickels quarter today. Here? I just dug a quarter. Wow. But you got to remember, I'm used to fire pits. So this is nothing for me. Oh, really? I practice fire pits. Man, this is... This is nothing. This is rough for me.
Look up. In this compact here. I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to believe it. No. It is. No. It is awesome. That's my wedding ring. That is like literally looks like it. I knew it was 14K the minute I saw it. Never. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So when I say I find gold rings on the road, I meant it. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Because look at this though. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. That's you why. One person to whoopsie. You know, this swell didn't really. Our swells aren't really helping us right now. We're just pushing some sand on the beaches, eroding it, and others. But the depositors. That's, that's that's where it's at. Man, maybe. Right we, we know who's buying lunch. Yeah, for sure. Dude, put your detector over this. It sounds like garbage. Like fire pit. <laughs> for me. Alright. I mean, we don't right. detect fire pit, but it's cool. garbage. I think I got it. Oh, another belt buckle. Yes. Got a couple of those today, huh? See a target right here. And it's a quarter. That's some serious kicking right there. I think it's Penny. Probably another Penny. And there's a Penny. I got a target right here. And I gotta change my battery again. Out. And there it is. Wow, that thing is crusty. Hmm. All right, I can't even tell them. Okay. We don't see the coin yet. There it is. 
All right, it's a dime. All right, guys, I think I got another nickel right here. Let's see if it stays solid this way. Oh, 12, 13. Hopefully it's not a full tab. Oh, please don't be a full tab. We want that nickel. <gasps> it's a ring. It's a gold ring. It's a gold ring. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Where are they at? I'm walking all the way back. Oh my gosh. I see something right on there. Right there. 14K. I got 14K too. Alright. So. Let's uh, put this on my finger. Wow, look how big that is. That fits my ring finger. It's almost just like my ring, huh? Mine's 10K, this is 14K. Wow. I think it said 14K. Okay, I'm gonna walk all the way back here. See the 14 on oh, it, yeah. okay? Yeah, 14. That thing's a big old ring. That's, I mean, I think it's mine. about as wide as mine, but. Was that in the dirt as well? Uh, No, in the, just in the top layer of loose sand. Closer to the edge over here. Whoa, sorry. Nice. Yeah. We need Andrew to get gold. Found a ring though. He did find a ring? The junker. I think it was gold plated at one point. Are you sure it's gold plated? Or just looking nasty? It looks Cause that's, this isn't as pitted as yours. You know, yours was caked in. Yeah. So what, a long time? Huh? Does that mean it's been down there a long time? Yeah, probably six seven months this is probably a few weeks right yeah that thing's cake yeah. i love those <laughs> we both got gold we both got gold we need andrew to get he's gold a, he's in the, the bushes right now dude he's gonna find silver in those bushes hey we either have a quarter or a dime here and once again, I put it in my strap. Here we go. And it's a quarter. Just killing the flat. I think I have enough enough plaid right now. I could definitely buy a big old porterhouse steak. Forget about laundry. I'm hungry. I need steak money. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? What is that? I think it's gonna be a foreign coin. I have no idea what kind of foreign coin, but it's a foreign coin. Another target right here. Penny.
kind of done. Yep, when those things get standing on end, they disappear. Target right here. Gotta love them quarters. Man, they're gonna be fun to clean just to make sure they are quarters. That direction is the uh, San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant. And uh, this area is called the Middle. Target right here. I am tired. I think we've been going at it for six hours already. I had a look at the time. I got a high tone right here, ringing 31. 29 to 32. Out. And there is a, is that a quarter? Yeah, it's a nickel. I just found this thing, some type of remote for something. Interesting. And then I got another target right here. Eighteen to twenty. Now, oh, a penny. Now, it's another one of those bullet casings. I got quite a few of those today. Okay, guys, we're almost out of here. We've been going at it for over six hours. By the time we get going, it'll be seven, seven and a half hour hunt. All right, I'm not sure what this is. Protection. Protection? Huh. I wonder if this is uh, silver, maybe. I can't tell what it is. We'll have to take a look at it at the wrap up. Huh. Okay. I'm going to stick that where I could easily get access to it, I think. I'm going to target right here. Heavy. And I see your dime or a penny. It's a dime. I can honestly say I am exhausted. Cool tab, probably. Be a gold ring. Solid and repeatable. And that's what it is. Dos Equis. Hey, out of that hole, I threw it over here. I think it's going to be a copper penny, maybe a dime. Bring it up 24 25. 
and it is a copper penny. Gonna target right here. Might be my last target here. And it's uh, either a dime or a copper penny. I can see copper on it. Okay. Don't think it's a very good target. It's going to be one crusty coin. It'll be fun to figure out which one, or what it is, really. Probably a zinc penny. I can see the coin right here. Right there. So all this just got washed in. All this area right here. Okay. Go target right here. Might have it. Huh. <laughs> I flew right out. So guys, I'm almost out of my last battery. We have five batteries that I've gone through today. And I just found this little cut. Trying to get behind the scenes footage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go through all of it. I know. Gotta... Just a nose ring. Yeah, of course. Yeah. JJ would wear it as a nose yeah, ring, for sure. Right? Totally. God, I, yeah. I don't know how... <laughs> what a sneeze already. How do they do this? Ah! I mean, gold is, ring is a ring. Do you want to fight? Does it make you want to fight? At least one fight. Alright. Do you want me to count this? Uh, I don't think you need to... Just, that's probably pretty darn good. Oh, I forgot my gold ring. Yeah, you need to put that gold ring out there. Oh, you know what? My gold ring is right here, too. Make it shiny. Yeah, no. Yeah, run that through that tumbler. Yeah, definitely something in there. All right. You're right. And here's the three rings of mine. Dude, nothing large. That's a look how big that is. That's that is bigger than mine. Wow. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. What great rings. That was the first ring I found. Right in front of the little shack. The shack, yeah. I used to, and then you said you found this one. I don't remember. Oh, by the... Uh, Other shack? Yeah, pretty close to the... Uh, that lifeguard tower. Oh, that's right, that's right. All right, look at the hole, guys. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is Irene's pile. Right here. Look at this. It's a little thin though, huh? Yeah. It's thin, yeah. That is beautiful. Very loved ring, if not. And she got a new car, maybe. I don't think that's a car. You know what that is? E it's an electric e bike. You yeah. got an e bike. Yeah. Just start trying them next time you're at the trestles. I didn't know they, <laughs> keys. Well, they do now. Yeah, they do. They, they, they take keys. Oh, I found one of these bullets too. And here's Andrew's pile. Did you find that pocket knife? No. no. Okay. Well, that's my fish. He did find the guitar letter. pick. That is cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's a nice thing about editing. Right. It's for, for you. Sure. Oh my God. Jim. It's three definitely rings. for you. Those three rings. Beautiful. See, it's for you. Scam likely. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, I'll actually answer the phone. <laughs> well, that was a good haul. That was 
excellent haul. I, you you really dug the clad. I think you and I probably are pretty close to being tied. You might have me beat. Think so. So you tell me when you add up your total change. Let me know how much you got of quarters, dimes, nickels. So guys, I had a blast with Irene and Andrew again today over at the trestles. And guys, I dug a lot of targets. <clears throat> I dug probably well over 700 targets. So I'm exhausted. It was probably about a seven and a half to eight hour hunt today. We did have a nice lunch afterwards and thank you Irene for buying because you were first to find gold. And that was one heck of a gold ring guys <clears throat> I dug a lot of garbage like I always do on almost every beach you guys see that and you know I dumped my bag several times or a couple times anyways of the big items right so just to let you know I dug a lot of targets some of the interesting ones were that you didn't see was this thing I have no idea I think it's a action camera maybe for a drone I have no idea sand just falling all out of it uh, this is probably a perfectly good functioning um, Bluetooth earphone I always save these plastic hooks and clips you never know when you need them I think I found a plug that will work on the back of my beach scoop where I lost the plug um, uh, during that real windy day um, out on Bolsa Chica. <clears throat> that's a button. Yeah, that's a button. Okay, I put some zinc pennies here. I'm running out of space, guys. So, that's 30 pennies right there. Okay, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 18 nickels. 18 nickels. That's massive, guys. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes. Twenty-seven dimes, guys. And then, let's see, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Exactly thirty quarters. Now you know why I'm exhausted, right? <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. It's heavy. It's solid. I'm curious, so I'm holding on to it. I still want to know what this is. I think it's a dime that the clad separated from. But I'm not sure if you guys can see. I see like a five mark on here. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. But it'll be interesting to see if I can clean that up. Okay. Probably going to clean all these up. Another one that I'm very interested in is this. It says protection on there and then there's a uh, a tiny little C like a copyright mark for NNW right there so I'm not sure what this is yet probably have to clean it up I'm not sure what kind of metal it is but it did ring up 2930 all right this thing here I believe screws on to some type of uh, lens of some sort to maybe um, a monopod uh, a monocular all right uh, this is the first ring that I found. It, I do believe that's going to be a silver ring. It looks brand new. It does not even look a bit tarnished. And it was just sitting on the top of the dry sand, really, right in front of the, uh, the little shack. Okay. And then this little silver ring, it is stamped 925 on the inside. Um, where did I find this one? I found this one... Um, uh, closer to lifeguard towers over in the uh, uppers area okay and this was found in the lowers along uh, not too far from where Irene found her gold ring it is stamped 14 gay I will get you close-ups and we'll, we'll get a weight on there all right guys I dug enough bottle caps where I deserve this all right and it's well deserved today I did get some bullets and stuff too and I'm not sure what this is. Some type of earplug of some sort. Not sure what that is. But guys, let's get this cleaned up. Well, that was fast, guys. Huh? Hey, guys. This was a 15-minute tumble. That was it. 
I only wanted to do a quick 15 minutes to see how it looked to see if I could see any silver and I absolutely did not find any silver. Unfold it. So when I tell you to clean your silver color change separately from a penny, it's real important that you do not put a penny in the mix or else this happens. Normal qu quarter, this isn't a very clean quarter, but it's a quarter, right? So, side by side comparison, right? This is what happens when you put, I think it was a zinc penny that ended up in the mix. The whole batch. <laughs> and none of them were silver. Uh, this is from last Friday's Trestles and San Clemente at T Street. Um, so yeah guys that's what happens spendable this is spendable I'm done cleaning um, I didn't clean this today this was the other day okay and by the way the media I can no longer use uh, with silver it has to only be used with pennies so that's important too so if for some reason this happens to you. You sneak a penny in the badge because you think it's a dime. All right. And, you know, you know how crusted these were. You couldn't tell the difference between a penny and a dime, right? Well, that's what happens. If you're not careful, this is what happens. And so, what did Jim have to do? Check dates. And Jim doesn't like to have to check dates. He just wants to look at the side and say, glad, silver, done. Right? Welcome to beautiful San Pedro, California, where the rubbish meets the sea. Today, we are coming at you live with $5 in clad coins for Andrew and shifting over to $10 in clad coins for Irene. But wait, that's not all, folks. We have 3.7 grams of 14 karat gold and some junkers. But uh, let's get ready to tumble! So guys, I had a blast today again at the Trestles with uh, Irene and Andrew. I know that uh, they enjoyed the day. Um, they dug a lot of targets. I dug a lot of targets. Um, that's just one place that on certain times uh, can give up a lot of great targets. And other times, just like any other beach, dead quiet. It's been a lot of movement. We have some southern swells, so we got a push-in event in one area and uh, big erosion in another area. I do believe that uh, eroded area is where they found their um, their Indian head penny, and that's pretty sweet. 1907 Indian head penny. They also found a silver coin. Boo-hoo for Jim. He didn't find any Indian head pennies or any V-nickels this time or any silver at all. Poor me, poor me. Oh, wait, I found two silver rings <laughs> and a gold ring, which, by the way, I thought was a massive ring when I looked at it. It's almost the same size as my wedding ring, all right? And I'm wearing it right now. Um, I don't know if you can see the slight differences. This is 14K and this is 10K. I might go over... Uh, differences in metals and how to spot them with your eyes. I know that I've found a lot of gold over the years so I can I know when I see 14k I know when I see 18k and I know when I'm puzzled and see something fake. <laughs> you, know, you know just years of experience right. Um, anyways guys we did uh, go have a really really nice lunch um, and thank you Irene for being the first to find gold that lunch was excellent I appreciated it and um, you know when you don't have to pay for it that's even a bonus so finding second gold I think is even better <laughs> so I didn't have to I found gold and I didn't have to pay for lunch right so guys and I still owe them beer from um, 
the blob urites from the Friday before, and I'll make that up to them. I'm sure I will uh, here pretty soon. And don't forget about my I Dig Gold for You that I'm giving away in the first part of July. Basically what it is, every time you see one of these gemstones, comment with the time stamp of the video in the comments below and you'll be entered into a drawing that I will select in the first week of July. And the first piece of gold, no matter what it is, the first piece of gold that I find is going to go to one of you lucky viewers. That's all you got to do. Comment with the timestamp of that video in the comment sections of that video and you're automatically entered into that drawing, guys. That's all you have to do. So if you like my videos, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video and please take a look at either one of these gold found videos.